Welcome back to Silver Knight Comics. Uh, if you've been following me, you'll see that uh, I did a Kickstarter on Second Shift. And now I'm talking about this first volume I got. Uh, before I dive into the, the volume though, I just want to show you the, the characters because there's a little thing in the, inside some of these issues here where it shows the, uh, the team, the main characters here. A uh, little, little, uh, little bio type of thing here. They're sort of like a Fantastic Four team-ish. You have a brother-sister team. Uh, not quite the same as like Human Torch and uh, Invisible Woman, but the, you know, it's a brother-sister team. He, the brother is a little goofy, sort of like a Human Torch. You know, a little charismatic, uh, joking around a little bit. Uh, even, I guess the main guy sort of reminds me of Mr. Fantastic, just in sort of appearance-wise. He's slender, clean-cut, <laughs> that stuff. So he sort of reminds me of Reed Richards. Anyways, uh, I just like this because it's got their names. You got Light Shower, Light Shower, uh, John as John Hopper, and it's just a lot of like little basic things. Uh, one of the brother here is Switch Eddie Batista. He's a shapeshifter. Then you got Spree is Sarah Batista, superhuman arm speed. And then you got Ann Shepard is Focus, Flight, and Hyper Intelligence. So they all sort of apply to each other with things that they can do. Uh, um, so they make, it just makes a good team. And it's sort of, so I find this series sort of like, I would say like traditional-ish, uh, like Marvel, I guess, with the, with the team sort of thing going down. But it's also more... Wait, that's a traditional. Yeah. Traditional, <laughs> anyways. Uh, yeah, it's um, but also more modern as well. They have a bit more modern twist. It's a bit more dark. Uh, not dark, but maybe just violent. He's definitely dark and violent. The main villain in this volume, as you can see, he's quite mysterious. There's, uh, I learned about him, so I know that like his power feeds off negativity. So, you know, in this beginning, there's the opener here. In this beginning you see like that he feeds off of negativity and that's what sort of projects you know makes him more powerful as you can see like all these pe all these voices surrounding him and he's picking up the negative energy and stuff like that so he's a pretty unique character i almost think that's sort of a metaphor of how like we are today you know people picking up negative energy and then flipping it back into the world you know, uh, but as you can see the results of it, he doesn't take too kind <laughs> some of these customers and uh, knocks a tooth loose. Uh, it's, it, he's a pretty good villain. I, I liked it. I, I just, he's just uh, very mysterious and raw. So it's very uh, unique, I would say. And then we dive into just a little background of what the heroes are doing, you know, what what their purpose, what they feel like they're they're bringing. So you dive into that a little bit in the story in this first chapter, or the first yeah, the first chapter, first issue of this volume. So you get to know them a little bit and their powers. Good introduction, you know, you, a good introduction to their their character of like who they are and the second shift and all that. So issue two is where you go into like their jobs, their background is like their personality because that's what they are. It's the second shift is their hero role. They go out at night and do all that, the hero stuff. Um, but the idea is like we're going to see them just as normal people as well. So you see like that they're a waitress and he works at a giant aquarium and uh, Eddie Batista works at a comic book store. So there's a bit of like uh, humor in that. So it sort of just gets you to connect with the, the, the characters as just individuals and then how they turn out later. But that's sort of the introduction to them as just normal people in this second issue. They This is where you get the first meeting and you get some... Uh, this is where I really like some of the artwork that you get to see, the, the vibrancy, the colors and all that stuff, some of the uniqueness in the artwork, uh, what happens to some of the characters when they meet the the, the villain and everything, and uh, that's the end of the second comic. So what I like about this is like as it picks up, the story gets more intense, the villain gets more intense, the art gets more intense as we go through issue three and four and so on. So I don't want to like go through it all, just in case you guys are interested in checking out uh, Second Shift and Accidental Aliens. So I don't know if I'll really get rid you know, go through the ending. There's a nice piece there. 
but you can see like how the way the art is and and how vivid and vibrant it is it's really nice stuff uh, and then at you know the end of this volume issue five is where you get the the big battle and everything like that so it's pretty cool but like i said i don't want to entirely spoil it for it just in case you guys want to check it out i thought it was pretty good i thought it really grew as as each issue issue went on in this in this volume and i still got to read uh the single one issues one shots that i got as well from from Scott Lost and Accidental Aliens. So this was a cool Kickstarter and I enjoyed it. So I hope you get, actually, yeah, I forget. Uh, I'll put the links in below as well to uh, Scott Lost, like YouTube channel and Accidental Aliens, just in case you guys want to check it out. And until next time, folks, how about some heavy reading?